Hi friends and welcome to Poverty Proof. How the rich think differently and how you can train your brain for wealth. In yesterday's video, we introduced the idea of free money. Now, there are not many areas in life in which you can negotiate free money on your own behalf. We're not talking here about increasing sales or working harder. Instead, we're talking about the results of whatever work you're going to do, simply bringing in more or less money. Now, our first example of free money that we covered yesterday was about percentage points and how the rich fight like alley cats over a rat for every percentage point. Percentage points make a very big difference. It is free money for the asking. You must ask for it. Here's the second idea. When you set up your own business or your own wealth generating mechanism, do you give away ownership? Ownership is probably the single biggest key to wealth. If you've been following the last few days worth of videos in the last few weeks, here is the thought process as it has unfolded so far. Wealth is generated at the point of sale. No sale, no new wealth is generated. Now that means to become truly wealthy, you don't want to be salaried, you want to be the owner of the benefit of the sale. Now that might mean that you're going to become the boss of your own corporation, but it might not. You might discover that you do not need to have a business and set up that kind of infrastructure just to be the owner of a sale. There are other ways of going about it. Or it might mean that you choose to be the boss because it gives you more uh, hands-on experience probably cleverer to be the owner of the boss and to see the CEO as a working mechanism, a part of your wealth generating machine. So our formula is point of sale generates wealth. Own the point of sale. Here's the mistake a lot of people will make and it will cost them half of their lifetime's wealth. When they start out with their new business or their new wealth generating enterprise, they invite a friend or a family member to be a part of it. And they say, I'll give you half. Now I want you to think about that for just a second because here is what almost always happens. You and your friend have a great time. You chat a lot, you joke, you have meetings that involve alcohol, and it's wonderful to have your friend on board. Your friend is not really that into it because, well, he's got other interests in life and you didn't hire him based on necessary skills. You hired him based on friendship, but it's fine. You get your business going. A couple of years later, he leaves and becomes a pastry chef. Now, here are the two problems you will face. Five, six years down the line, you come to some kind of a tight economic crunch. You need all the leeway. You need all the extra money, all the capital you could get your hands on and half of what you're generating goes to your mate, the pastry chef. Why? Because you wanted to play business with him many years ago. Now it gets more serious than that. 10 years down the line, you have expanded, you've made it through, you are a multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar corporation. And half goes to your friend, the pastry chef, because it's in the contract and because you gave it away. I'm busy listening to a wonderful book at the moment by a uh, British entrepreneur who uh, started up a, a number of magazines and newspapers and became very, very wealthy. And he gets incredibly passionate about this concept. He says, under no circumstances do you give anything away. Ownership is yours. Point of sale and the ownership of point of sale remains yours. He says, by all means, be a good person in other ways. Give to charities, pay your staff exceptionally well, incentivize them with bonuses, whatever the case might be. But ownership, that's yours. And that's a wealth building principle. That is free money. Think about that again for just a second. You're going to put in X amount of work. If you give away half of it, you have given away half of your lifetime's income. If you do not do so, you get half of it back or you double your income. If you might be interested in doing Poverty Proof as a course, it is now available from futureselfacademy.com. Goes like this, you download it onto your smart device, you get the full book as well as video inserts in which I guide you through the concepts and then quizzes that help you to implement them into your life. You get a certificate at the end of it all and if you're in lockdown right now, why not see how many certificates you can complete?